I have been on the scene, so if I make some blunders so or talk about weird things, please excuse me for that. Regarding your marriage topic, I think it's a very nice thing to research the history of the process of the, the thing you are talking about. And based on what I read in several books of a, a prominent Soviet historian Yuri Semenov, I write it in Russian. Hopefully, you will excuse me for that. <laughs> it all originally started with not personal marriages, but with two groups of people who intermarried themselves. <laughs> Meaning that males of one group were allowed to have relationships and children with women of, not of the other group. And the women of the other group raised the children. Men were considered there wasn't certain specific fatherhood established. It was evident that women were parents of the, ch of the children, but fathers didn't matter. That, that, if we talk about alternatives of Institute of Marriage. As I heard, and I will be skipping large parts because I don't have enough time, the current form of marriage appeared because of the situation when a man in society had the right for so-called, well, let's call it property. Meaning, he had property. Women didn't have property. Women were sort of property of men because of that. They didn't interact with society directly. They only were part of household of men. And that's when so-called patriarchic monogamous marriage form appeared. Well, to skip many, many parts, according to Yuri Semyonov, we'll probably heading in our current situation where marriage, current form of marriage, is not justified, as justified by social forces as it was previously. We are probably heading to pairing. Meaning when two people come together and stay for as long as they find they Well, they pair pleasant for both of them. And regarding another alternative for a family, thank you. I will, I will finish in a couple of minutes, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> and regarding another alternative, back not that long time ago in Israel, there was an institute called Kibbutz, where a group of people, the whole community, raised children. And they raised, those communities raised normal, highly successful people. So there are alternatives to marriage. I personally am a married man, and I plan to stay married for the entirety of my life. But there are alternatives. It's not the best parent, and we'll probably see some changes. <laughs>